This looks complicated, I know. What, what is behind me looks like it may be difficult, but I promise you, within the hour, you will be able to build this like the back of your hand and even put your own little flair to it. It was suggested by PurpleWings919 on Twitter that I try to build a miniature castle. And I thought, why not? Let's not only go miniature. Let's go uh, starter castle. If you're on a server for about an hour or two, you should be able to build this castle no problem. Follow me on this way. We're going to have a blast. Alrighty, let's get us started. We are on the same world where we had the uh, horsey stable, and Brad and Bianc are just chilling and having a good time. We're going to keep it on this same world because I feel like this build is going to fit this theme just fine. Uh, so I'm cool with it, and I feel like locationally, location-wise, we're probably going to go right about here. Okay, so we've got a nice area flattened out here, and this is one of the rare cases where I will flatten the terrain to get some workspace. I usually like to work with the ups and downs of the, the natural terrain that we get, but this is a place where uh, a flat is good. So, I'm telling you this. This is one of the simplest, and I could go even simpler, but I think this is a good way to make an epic-looking uh, simple castle that you could build on your server after just a quick uh, do a do a w one little mine shaft, the stone that you would get from that would probably uh, get you enough materials to create something like this. But first and foremost, what we want to do is we want to uh, lay out the design. Okay, so just follow me here this is going to be maybe a little bit confusing for you right off the bat but you'll pick up on it very quickly so we're going to go in a shape like this mm-hmm so see we've got one two this right here all of our towers are going to be two by whoops two by two very small but they'll do the trick. This is to save on resources and make it so you can kind of do it in the beginning stages of Minecraft. So, this will be our front wall, and I'm only doing half of it. This is sliced down the middle, so we'll duplicate this other half. Front wall, front door will be right here. Tower, wall curving around to here, which will then come into another tower here. So we did one, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, tower. One, two, one, two, and tower. Just like that. That is the layout. Now, to fill out the interior of the castle, there will be a building in the middle. And if you go off of this, this front gate here, you see we've got our design laid out on both sides. You got, come off of this block here. One, two, three, boom. That is the corner. One, two, three, four. You're right in the middle. One, two, three. Meets up with that corner. Come back. One, two, three. See how we're going here? Mm-hmm. You see it. This will be the middle building, and then you just bring this back all the way stop doing that I'm doing this all out of stone you could do it out of cobblestone until you meet up with that corner right there and and really this is a suggestion you can take this as far as you want it you don't have to copy uh, this exactly you can you can take it as far uh, as far as the copy that you do you can take it as far as you want but now you see that our entire castle is all enclosed now, we want to work on putting some height into this and getting the towers put together. For the towers, there's going to be about three basic concepts that we'll want to uh, want to keep as far as keeping a theme together. But before we get into those, let's go through and pick some blocks. What I want to do, and without even getting too deep into it, I want to go through and I want to pick any block that's gray. 
any block that's gray is going to work well. You could even use gravel. <clears throat> but those will be good foundation blocks. And these are all blocks that you can get very, very easily when you're starting out in your world. So that's why I think this could still be very simple, very, very simple uh, starter castle for you. So that's going to be kind of our palette. We're also going to include some wood logs. And what I would suggest is for whatever area you set up in, if let's say you set up in a, in a taiga area, I would suggest using spruce wood logs. Uh, if you set up in a birch forest, use birch. If you set up in a roof forest, which is what we're going to pretend, use dark oak wood. If you're in, in a desert, maybe acacia. Uh, but we're going to use dark oak wood. So that's about our palette. And then for our roof, our, our roofs, we're going to use a stained clay. You could use something else, but I'm going to use red stained clay for mine. Stained clay is pretty easy to get your hands on, and red is pretty easy to get your hands on because with some bone meal and some flowers, you can get red dye for days. So for our towers, these front two towers here at the front gate, these will be different because these will be more like guard towers. Uh, but for the rest of them, the other four, they're all going to follow this basic concept and design. And I'm trying to keep this as simple as possible so it's a pretty easy thing to follow along with. So we'll just go like this. Four stone bricks, two stone brick stairs, a chiseled stone brick, which is made with two stone brick half slabs. Just uh, in a crafting bench square. Oh, where is one? Well, in a crafting bench square, boop, boop, like that, you get the chiseled stone brick. And then, boom, put that up on the corner. That's going to be our base. And there are our four bases all in place. Very, very simple, very easy, easy, easy. I know, I know. For certain, you can do that. You can do that. Now, what you're going to want to do from here is you're going to want to pick the height of each tower. You can do them all exactly the same. I wouldn't suggest that. You could do them all exactly the same. The shorter you do them, the easier this is going to be. But I would make them all at least from the ground up. This is three blocks. I would make them all at least... Uh, eight blocks high. Nine to be saved. Saved? <laughs> Nine to be safe. Aha, and now you see it is starting to take shape. I've got all of my heights worked out, and we may change these down the road, but let's give them a shot. Let's try it. Uh, for your reference, if you want to copy exactly, this one is eight tall, including the base. This one is 13 tall, including the base. This one is 11, including the base. And this one is 17, including the base. All right? Now, from here, we're going to pop roofs on all of these. Now, I would suggest it probably be a good idea to make sure that you are 100% happy with your height before you put the roof on. But when you are happy and ready to go... This is how the roof works, all right? It's very, very simple. Get your clay or block of choice. This is the color that's going to add to your castle. So make sure it's a color that you like. Basically, what we're going to do is we're going to outline the stone blocks in this red stained clay. Very, very simple. See how that is? Two, one, two, two, one, one. We're going to each layer, each pattern, we're going to double it up. Two rows of the same thing. Next layer is just four by four. Very simple. Double it up. Next layer is two by two, kind of. And then, oops, double it up, double it up. Make sure you do it like that. And then the next one is two by two. Just like that. Very simple, right? And then what you do from there is you add these pieces of 
s stone wall, cobblestone wall. This just gives it some added texture and detail and makes the sh slope and shape of the roof feel a little bit more a uh, little bit more interesting. I guess that's the only way to really explain that. But you can just you could use fences here as well if you wanted to. Adds more shape. But that is what our roofs are going to look like. Now we have the base and the top of all of our towers figured out. And pretty easy at that. So that's nice. Something you can do if you get really fancy and tricky, you can try implementing some other color colors into this. Whoops. Just to make it look a little more interesting, if you know what I mean. You can do that, but that's a little more advanced. If you want to take it to the next level, you can. Not a big deal. Be my guest. For our purposes, uh, maybe we'll leave it, change it down the road. The next concept, the next part of this tower that all of them are going to have that's going to be very, very simple is right underneath the roof. Right underneath every roof is going to have this. Knock out these four blocks and replace them with stairs like that. Two upside down ones, two right side up ones. We'll do that on all sides. And what that's going to do is that's going to add some depth to to the building, give it some shape, and it's going to make the roof stand out just a little bit more. Now we have that implemented. That's great. Now we're starting to detail it out. And as we go, grasp onto this concept. This is all the same. But as we go, we are taking out bigger and bigger chunks of what needs to be filled in for each tower. As I said, the smaller the tower, the easier it's going to be for you because there is going to be a point where you're going to have to freestyle it a little bit. Several concepts within each tower that will remain the same, but you will have to freestyle. Here should be very, very, very simple. Small tower, here we go. So right underneath this stair lip area that's right underneath the roof we're going to put a cobblestone stair in every corner just like that we're going to put the wood of choice up against that and then right beneath that we're going to take two cobblestone stairs we're going to shape them whoops like that and you can knock out those blocks as well. Cobblestone stairs. Cobblestone stair. Knock out those blocks as well. Here, hopefully I'm not going too fast for you. So this will be just like that. See? These two opposing sides will have the cobblestone stairs on them. This side, I like to put cobblestone stairs underneath this wood. Just to give some depth and texture. And then again just some stone bricks there. Now with this being a smaller uh, tower, there's not a whole lot of room for detail, but it still works out just fine. Now cobblestone walls there and there. Cobblestone wall there and there. And then I'm going to, because, so it, because it matches fairly well with this project, I'm going to use a spruce wood fence to put here and here on either side of the window just like that. So that is just below just below this lip. So I'm going to do that for all of the rest of the towers. And there you have it. Those are the three elements that we want to implement into every single one of these towers. You see in this one, it completes it. It is a little squashed and we're missing some parts, but it works. Uh, something that I couldn't include in that one. I like to put a stair. So you have the wood, you have the two cobblestone stairs. I like to put a stair right here as a lip. You could also do it this way as well if you wanted to, but personally I like this. Now, it's time for your creativity to start to come into play here. Now, whoops, throw that on the ground. You have 
Some blocks to fill in here. This one the most. This one, one, two, three, four. This one, one, two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. On something this large, you could potentially change things up and uh, take this window concept idea that we've already implemented and worked out and maybe do it facing this way. Uh, you've got room for it, so you could do that. Something that I like that I think looks pretty good within here is just taking some andesite, some polished andesite, and doing a band around like this. See, see how that looks. It contrasts well. It's a nice new block design. I think it looks pretty good as far as uh, this castle design goes. And see, now all of a sudden, you've just removed another row of blocks you need to complete on your castle. From here, this is the most I can give you as far as concepts and designs for your towers. You kind of have to use your own creativity. Fill the blocks in with things that you like. Okay, you could take it however you want. You could take stairs like this again. You could go use that design again down here. You could start using cobblestone. You could use uh, the circle stone brick. You could implement this, some wood. Just use your creativity. Lots of blocks to choose from. Just don't stray too far from your original palette. Now I've finished up detailing out the towers and I've kept it tried to keep it as simple as possible and I think it is still looking very nice I also went with the uh, mixed in stained clay color I couldn't resist I personally love making my things look pretty busy like that you do whatever you do it's all good uh, but look just so simple and easy to fill in with some stone bricks. I normally, if I was going for a masterpiece, I would do it a little differently, but simple starter castle, this is wonderful. Still does the trick. I also went with the window that goes this way as well. Now, these two front towers, very, very simple and very similar concepts that we can go with shouldn't be too hard so you build yours up and it should be one two three four and five only five tall how simple can you get so as i said the concept is very similar to the original towers that we did but instead of building it up and putting uh, some stone bricks here we're just going to leave it right there like that and then stone bricks here we're going to still keep the cobblestone walls going up the side, but just do that. Replace these with stone bricks. You can save yourself some steps by not doing stone everywhere. You could do the whole thing in dirt, but I like to do it just so I can get an idea of what it's going to look like when it's totally complete. Again, let's go with, and I'm not finishing the back side, just so you guys can get an idea and to save us some time. We're going to use our andesite band, and then we're going to go with the concept that we were doing on the uh, towers, where we are going to put a little lip up here. This just gives some depth, and it helps. Uh, it's, it's hard to get depth like this when you're working with a 2 by 2 structure, something so small, but these stairs become your friend very, very, very quickly. Now the top part of the tower is a little bit tricky, but not bad at all. So you've got this worked out, right? These are your guard towers, so we don't want to put a roof on it. We want to put an area where you can still look out, but at the same time, you can be protected. So you'll put stairs like that. That starts to give us some cool structure and detail, right? Now, on this lip with the stairs, I'm going to put upside down cobblestone slabs. Actually, is this right side up? I'm not sure. And then, to bring in, tie in our fences, our spruce fences, I'm going to put these on all corners here. That's going to make that look pretty cool. And then, whatever you choose for your flooring, I would do a uh, spruce slab, personally. That's my. That's just my prerogative. You could put it here. That could work. Now, look at. Pretty protected. Not bad. Great. Now we've got 
our castle guard towers out front, the little guys up here, and we've got our big towers in the back. Things are starting to fill in and look pretty good. We are nearing completion. Do not fret. Do not worry. Let's take this wall out front now. This is the main entrance into the castle. Take your word of choice. It's going to be around your area and go one, two, one, two, like that. Cobblestone walls, one, two, one, two. You can do that if you want. You don't have to. I'm going to leave stone, just regular smooth stone, right there and right there. And then you could do that. You could, you could detail this up as much as you want. I'm just trying to keep it simple for you. Just follow me. I'll just do one side, and that should... That should uh, do the trick for you. Mm-hmm. You see? Mm-hmm. Like that. And then I need a slab. I'm sorry. This is this is kind of a hard one to explain. You're just going to have to follow me block by block. Stone stair right there. So we've got upside down stair, slab, full stair there, upside down cobblestone stair. That's just to keep it interesting. And then up top, we will do a stair facing that direction. Something else will be right here. So let's duplicate that, what we just did there. We take the cobblestone stair. Very good. Boom. Very simple. Easy. And then we will take, just for interest, again, a slab. And we will go of the just regular stone slab persuasion and put it right here. What that leaves room for is a block right here. Pick your favorite gem block or uh, whatever. If you love lapis, if you're MC Gamer, do lapis lazuli block. If you love diamond, go with a diamond block. If you love TNT, do TNT block. I personally am a big fan of the emerald. That's my baby. So I go with the emerald block out front. Hopefully nobody steals it. But that the entrance to your castle. Now on to the castle walls. What I'm going to do, we've already laid out our shape. We're going to build these up three tall. Use whatever block you want, but for now this is just me using regular stone for a layout. From there, Every castle has kind of this look, and I always forget the name of what it is, but these, you know, these things, these balustrades, uh, crominades, or whatever the archers stand behind is cover, right? Every castle has those, uh, so we will install those here. This is a spot where you'll have some conflicts. Every once in a while, you'll run into some conflicts, and you make just little adjustments to help fix that problem. Uh, where is I need a slab? That's perfect. So I'm going to have it go like this. Full block, slab, full block, slab. Every other. On the slabs, just to make the wall more interesting, we're going to tie in our little stone stair up and down trick right here. And you have this hole in the wall, which we can't have. So when you do have that, build that up and it covers it up perfectly fine. Another slab, let's do it. Perfect, whoops, not perfect, there we go. And then come inside here, boop, 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 boop. whoops, too high. Another slab, just like that. Very simple, easy design, and it adds a lot of detail to your wall. A lot more detail than, than just leaving it plain stone. As you can see, that looks pretty interesting. Now look at us. After just a short period of time, re we are really starting to come together and have something that looks pretty darn cool. I just continued that wall design all along the outside here. It's very simple. Just get the concept and continue it all the way around. Something you can do is you can come in and you know how we were using these stone wall or the the stone bits here to fill in these holes you can continue this here just like this if you wanted to have kind of a little ledge to walk across you could just put a stair or uh, not a stair I'm sorry you could just put a uh, a um oh that shouldn't continue through there you fool uh, a ladder that would lead you up. It would do the trick, 
and get you up in the air so you could watch out on the walls. Also, to enter into, and I did do the stairs over here, to enter into your guard towers, all you have to do really is just knock out a little hole right there. Or, <laughs> not there. Not there. That's not the place. I forget where I did that. Where did I do that? Right here? Is that the place? That's the place. Knock out a little hole, put a little ladder right there. But I think we're going to save the interiors for another time. Just so you know, that's how you can do that. All right. To this point, things have been pretty simple. We've got some pretty cool looking stuff built. Uh, fairly simply. Now things get a little bit more interesting, a little more intermediate level. But I think if we do this together, uh, it, we shouldn't have any problem. And again, your creative freedom can kind of go crazy here. But to make this more simple, we're going to divide this middle center building in half. That's what we're going to work on now. Uh, we're going to work on one half and then just duplicate it. And really, all we need to do is work on one quarter. And then the other quarters can be done themselves. I did make some changes real quick. And let me tell you about these before I confuse anybody. So this center three blocks, I kicked these back one. Also, before when we built this, we came back three blocks from here. It was supposed to be three blocks from here. This circle stone brick, one, two, three. That should be this corner. So everything moved over one. Do you follow? I'm sorry that we had to make that change, but uh, it will be for the better, I promise you. So let's work on this corner right here. We get this worked out, we should get everything else worked out, no problem. First thing you want to do is you want to grab your dark oak wood or whatever wood you're using for your project and you want to bring it up to a, just for now, whatever height. Uh, the, the reason why you have to leave that there is because you're supposed to start in the middle. Whoops! Uh, so in the middle, we'll, we want to be 11 tall. That's the height of the entire building. So. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Great. That's what that, and then the roof will come down from there. <laughs> so um, then we will be down here. Ten, nine, eight, seven. Aha! We worked it out perfectly. So six blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six dark oak blocks come out like that come out like that and put a piece of andesite on top that's your corner that's this corner right here take regular smooth stone that you've cooked up and bring it up to here one block above that that's eight blocks and then here you bring stone bricks nine blocks all the way to the top you come down two from that one, two, and go like that, just to give some detail. Now, inside of there, inside of this, you're going to want to do two layers of stone bricks, like that. Give some detail right there. You see where we're going? You see where we're going. Now, this area, the reason why we did just did smooth stone here is just to kind of uh, break it up to where the interesting parts can still look interesting. One block up, or four blocks up, we want to put an upside down stair because this area is going to be where our door is. And if we took a uh, slab again, mm -hmm. this is, I, I'm loving this block right now. And we come right there and we get a door. We're going to go with a spruce door and put that right there. That's the entrance. You followed what we were doing there, didn't you? Wonderful. So you've worked that out, and now for the center part. We're going to put a circle stone brick there, a stone brick stair there, a block of andesite here, a regular piece of stone there, and then, once again, slab. How many times did I search slab today? That's crazy. Right there. And what this will do is this will be the lip 
for our window that we're going to put right here. You're following what we're doing here, just stone all the way down. That takes care of that part. In here, shouldn't be too difficult at all. Most of this is going to be window, but this part is recessed here. So we've got this. We're going to do a stone brick right here. And then above that, or no, a piece of stone right there. Above that, stone brick, stone brick slab there. This is just working out the window section part. You're following just fine. Do not worry. If you just copy those blocks exactly, you will have no problem. That right there is our cross section. That's our half. Now, all we have to do is just duplicate it on the other side. There you have it. Duplicated on the other side. A little bit complicated, I know, but worth it in the long run. Pick a window color. What are we going to go with? Gross, sick, disgusting brown. And just pop it in there, wherever you like. We'll fill that hole in. There's just little spots that you're going to have to kind of do on your, on your own. But you get the idea. Pretty good. Pretty cool looking area, though. Kind of advanced, like I said. Now we've got this little corner to work out. And I'm going to go one, two, three, one, two, three, four. And then I'm going to come down here with the stone bricks. Stair, stair. You see how we did there? Uh-huh, very cool, very fancy. Again, implementing that design. And that will take care of that corner. That's it. Now for the side, I haven't really worked this out yet in my head, but let's give it a shot. One, two, three, over, circle, stone, brick. One, two, three, over, circle, stone, brick. We'll come up from those circle stone bricks and let's just come up. We only have to build three tall here. Let's come up and do just regular stone there. And then we can come in with these stone bricks on the bottom. And of course, we're going a little further than we really need to, but that's fine. You can go like this with some stone stairs. And you can kind of decide how do you want to do this. Do you want to make windows here? You can if you'd like. We can break that out. Ah, I like that. That's what I like right there. Mm-hmm. Let's make a window there like that. So we'll go stair, stair, like see how these stairs are? Just like that. That's the design on the sides. Is it simple enough? I think it's simple enough. We like it. There's where you have to make a little edit and change. Boom. Simple enough. All the way across, all the way down the side. Nice and detailed, still very pretty and easy. Now, I personally like my buildings feeling nice and quaint, especially if we're calling it a miniature version. Of course, there are a lot more details you can do in this build by adding uh, iron fence gates, or iron fences, fence gates, uh, buttons all over the place. But um, as you can see, I've finished out our design all the way around. Now, we need to put a roof on this central building. You don't have to put a window on the backside. I just did that for my own fun and fun, and uh, it works out good for me. Now, this is where I'm starting the roof. I'm going to stick with blocks. You can use whatever you want, but I like this stained clay. Kind of blocks the area that we were building, but from the inside, it's not bad. See how that's going to look? It's pretty cool. Trust me, trust me, trust me. You can do this differently if you want, but that's what I suggest. So, right along the side there, this is also going to be quaint, but it doesn't feel good if it's not quaint. Trust me. All right. So, for all of this, we're going to overhang one block, just like that. And we bring this all the way down, like so, and all the way down, like so. One, whoop, 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 once again. Now... You can, if you'd like, you can add this detail into this roof, which I will do off camera. Don't worry. Do not worry about that. I cannot go without doing some details in there. 
Our roof here is going to overhang again as well, and it's going to overhang this far for us. And if we just work down from the top, we should end up right about here. Perfect. And what you'll notice as we're doing this is that there's a little bit of a gap where these roofs don't meet up. That's on purpose. We did that on purpose, and I'll show you why a little later. So I went for it. I went all the way, and I uh, filled in the... I, I tried to add in some texture. I, I'm not totally in love with it, but I do like the fact that it adds some depth and some character. Uh, something else that we will do to add some depth in the character is we will come in one, two, three blocks from the edge. We'll do a cobble piece of full piece, piece of cobblestone there is fine, and then we'll go stairs all the way on the top and a half slab on top again. We'll come in one, two, three here. Whoops. Like that. See how we're coming in? Three, so on the fourth block is when we're breaking. And we'll place a band there as well. Same thing coming on in from that side. Now we are on the inside of the castle, and last but not least, we're going to figure out what we're going to do with this open space here. Now, since we're using some wood throughout this area, and we're kind of getting into the interior spot, and good thing we're inside because it's starting to rain. We're starting to get into the interior. Let's get some wood in here to warm things up a little bit, and then let's, as our filler, let's just go stone for these two top blocks. I did clarify where we're doing this, right? You guys see where we are. In relative to the door, that's where that is. Great. Now, here you have some options and some things you can do. You can poke out some windows like that. Just random. Random window placements wherever you'd like. And then start filling in with some stone brick, like so. Now this, not a whole lot of detail needed and, and necessary. Why? Because we will dress this up later for an interior video. But that's all you need to do. Just some stone and three apart. And then a little half slab up there. Same thing over here. boop a boop Let's make sure the windows are lining up. Do, do. One, two, three. Wait, one, two, three. Block. Boom, boom. Does that line up? Show do, I think. It's that simple. So... That is an entire castle for you to impress your server members with. The goal is to make it look intimidating, make it look complicated, but be as easy as possible. Now, like I said, next episode we will work on doing an interior setup, but that's what it looks like. Now, there are some details that are kind of being left out and I'm that are going to be hard to explain and they are just straight detail things. Let's turn the toggle, the downfall off. Uh, so let me do some quick purification details and I'll show you what this could potentially look like for you. And there she is, final product, right at sunset. How gorgeous and how easy. All I did is just added some trees and popped some leaves along the walls here. And that's it. That is it. How simple, how awesome is this? I love it, personally. So... Feel free. Take this. Make what you want of it. Make whatever you want. Change it up however you want. Change the colors. It's very, very customizable. As far as uh, interior and stuff, we'll work that out in the next episode. But hopefully this was easy for you to follow along with. And, uh, yeah, that should do it. Leave some love on it for me. Leave a like. Share it. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe. And you can check out some more of these bad boys. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in the next episode.